So basically, I'm going to check out this Firebird. Um, when I was 16, I got an 84 Firebird. Uh, it was a 305 five speed. Um, wicked fun car. Being 16 and working at KFC part time and going to school, um, my parents wouldn't pay my insurance. They wouldn't uh, help me with gas or anything like that. So, needless to say, I only had the car for about two months and uh, I had to get rid of it. There's just no way I could keep it. So, got rid of that, you know, had some other cars in between, and two years ago, I bought uh, another Trans Am, and it was a 305 five-speed as well, but the transmission was shot, and it was blowing. Um, and it's very hard to find a transmission for one of those cars. It's a Borg Warner five-speed. Um, Mustangs use them. Uh, you can change the bell housings over and make them fit, but it's a pain in the ass. So, after a lot of searching for a transmission, and uh, you know, I was working all the time, like literally seven days a week, and uh, just having no luck whatsoever. Well, my buddy decided he wanted to build a muscle car, so I sold him the car, and he put in a 383 fully built uh, crate motor. It's a 383 stroker. Um, about 500 plus horsepower and everything else and that was pretty kick-ass but um, he went broke after building the car and uh, it sat um, so uh, I don't know what he, he's now he pulled the motor out a while ago and I guess he scrapped the car which is a shame the car was in, in beautiful condition um, it just needed some interior work but whatever so now I come across this one, now I'm finally in a time where I can, you know, afford it, I got some time, I got a little more time for it now too. Um, so I'm really hoping that uh, these guys will sell me this car. So we're going to go check it out. I'm going to get ready though. See this face? And then you'll see my ready face. Two completely different people. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. The transformation. Now we're ready to go. Let's go get a fucking firebird. Yeah! This should be fucking cool. I'm excited! Let's go! There she be. Fucking interior's all ripped to shit and missing. I just talked to the owner. And, uh, let me, uh, two hundred and twenty thousand kilometers on it. It's not very much. Just talked to the owner, and he says it needs floors, so I checked that out, and he's definitely right. It needs floors. They're pretty bad. Ships. And uh, it needs an interior, clearly. So, well, he wants 500 bucks. He says it runs great, so I'm going to see if I can get the keys from him and fire it up. He says the clutch and training are all good, so. Oh, fuck, she's rough, though. She's rough. Used to be a cream color. Got good tires though. And the body's actually pretty straight. Kind of surprising. Polar sized tires. <clears throat> All of the gears are nice, tranny's good, singles are nice, much is good. Yeah, we're ready to do some Dave's farm shit right here. Ready for a cold start? Three months he says it hasn't ran.
Let's do it. Oops, there we go. Ugh, too quiet. So I found the charge cable on the battery wasn't hooked up. Which would be why all the gauges were goofy and nothing worked. So now, you can see the headlights go up, headlights go down, Let's see if the power windows work. No, still nothing there. Oh, that one goes down slowly. Yeah, that one works. Nothing on this one though. Oh, there it is. Battery's weak. Let's rev it up. Yeah, now it works better. Cool. Almost out of fuel though. Good oil pressure, really good oil pressure. Alternator's working well. Nice steady idle. Just needs a mild tune up, but you know what? It runs fucking really good. Look at that. Even the interior light works. <laughs> well, YouTube, I checked all the gears, they're all there. in this thing though. I'm gonna make a couple phone calls but for 500 bucks just the drivetrain's worth that. These transmissions are extremely rare and very hard to come by. You decide YouTube. Do I buy this car? 500 bucks? Let's uh, get your votes in. <laughs>